In this one, we'll be taking a look at Fey Farm for the first time. It's a new cozy farming life sim game. The game has a really cute and cozy art style and overall just charming design. With everything you'd want from this kind of game, it's got farming, fishing, mining, critter catching, raising animals, and you can play in co-op with three of your friends. And of course, building relationships with the townsfolk and optional romances. Nice. This video is sponsored by Fey Farm. Like and subscribe for more indie gaming playthroughs and let me know if you want to see more Fey Farm on the channel. Fey Farm is available now. If you want to check it out for yourself, then use the link below this video. And let's begin our adventure. Quick look in the settings. Got colorblind options. Screen shake that you can turn off. Simple fishing if you find fishing difficult. There you go. And we're at the highest. Perfect play game. I like that it's multiplayer. Let's give your world a name. The world of, say it with me, Omlele. Praise her. Our Omlele, who art in the island, hallowed be thy egg. Spending quality time with your farm animals keeps them happy. Let's begin our adventure. <laughs> Character creation. Body type. Hiha, hoha, hoha, hiha. Let's see what how different we can look with. All right, <laughs> that's a terrifying laugh. Hit the randomizer a few times. Gives you an idea of how different you can look. That's a good look. Cool. So there's quite a lot of differences. And different voices, too, by the sounds of things. Let's begin. Oh my gosh, please stop laughing creepily at me. Eye colour. Oh, pick any colour. Let's have some pink eyes. Ah, oh, yes, you can do one different. The old heterochromominus. Let's have, um... Let's have a uh, pink and a blue. This is the logo colours and channel colours. <laughs> and we'll have these eyes. Some nice brows. Black brows. Math. <laughs> Let's have a little sideways smile. I get told I do a little sideways smile often. Crooked as. Hairstyles. That's nice hair. Got some hijabs, a turban. Dude, my hair is so long right now, I still haven't been to get it cut. Like, it's legit getting to this point. I got pretty thick curly hair. Um, do I want to be a guy or a girl? Do I want to be cute or... I wish I could zoom back a little bit there. be a little... That's look, you look like an apple. What should it look like? <laughs> Change the colour first, that's gonna help. There we go. Let's go like that. Maybe I can get a hat at some point <laughs> to put my hair up. It's not quite that long yet. Maybe it's more like here. <laughs> and... Wow, this is some intense, <laughs> intense facial hair. I think we'll go without. And so you can do some different facial vibes. And change the color. Make them like cute. Make a little... <laughs> Is that too much? It looks like I'm permanently blushing, but probably a correct kind of vibe for how I think you can do little scars too how I play games pronouns be little he him 
Let's find the voice. Oh, hang on. Oh, how melodic. All silent. Mm, that's cute. Be that. All right. Can I change my outfit color or anything? I don't think so. Skin color you can do. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was gonna be like every color. There we go. <laughs> that's very pink. I'm a proper little pink boy. I'll go about that. It's fine. All right. Good to go. Sleeping in bed at home begins a new day. Sells items. Walking along the beach one day, staring at the sand. A message in a bottle invited me to a faraway land. The author described an island in need, one like no other, and a home for the brave. It was written so kindly. I set off with adventure in my heart, and the wind behind me. The voyage was dangerous and my boat was shattered. I clung to the wreckage, my sail in tatters. Suddenly the waters calmed, and then I saw it. I needed a little ending rhyme. And then I saw it, and in the comment put, what rhymes with that best? My entry is a whole new world. And I already adore it. Uh. Hello. My goodness, look at what the tide brought in. Are you okay? Your name's Mad Morph. You found a message in a bottle. So it goes by your Steam name. I didn't get to put a uh, character name in. I've been Mad Morph in a game for a long time. Oh, my chair nearly broke. Sorry. Excellent! I was the one who threw it in the ocean. I can't believe that worked. I'm Mayor Merritt. A pleasure to meet your soggy self. Your soggy self. Homework for the week. Call someone their soggy self. Hopefully it's raining, otherwise it would come off as a bit rude. Oh, the house? Yes, it's still available. You're the only one who's tried to make it to our island. It's a wonderful, magical place filled with kind and cosy friends, but we're surrounded by whirlpools. And there's a blizzard that's been howling for what seems like years up in the mountains. And there's an active volcano that's been threatening to go off. There's also the wild magic. Azoria's a real paradise. Don't go! Uh, well, you can't actually go. The whirlpools, but I can sweeten the deal. I'll have my patented welcome package sent to your house. And look, a fun map. That shows where everyone and everything could be found. The message in a bottle was true. A lovely farm is waiting for you. All you have to do is claim it. I promise you'll love it. World map. Homestead, town centre, west town, docks, stay a while bay. Discover your home. Hello everyone, I'm the new boy in town. I'll be romancing you soon enough. Let's go up here. Is it mushroom? Oh, I can jump. Wait, can I jump on this? Fun! There we go. Is this my home? Is this my home? Dear future friend, once upon a time, an island called Azoria glittered like a multicolored gem in the ocean. The land was home to many friendly and hardworking souls, but life had become difficult for them. Magical hardships deprived them of their coziness and separated them from their friends and even their homes. But I, Mayor Merritt, know that someone like you can help us. Someone who wants to farm, explore, and have an adventure or two. Lately, even reaching our island requires a treacherous journey through turbulent seas, but a brave adventurer can overcome any dangers. Will you join us? Your new home. 
Welcome. Backpack. Sleeping on floor. So not another present. It looked like a pre oh, hello. Uh, hi. hi. <clears throat> Happy to have you around. What do you think of your new home? The welcome kit was sweet, right? I knew you'd love it. Azoria is the perfect place to live. Assuming you're okay with magical thorns and suspicious weather patterns. Why don't you try giving your home a new name? Oh. Uh, and I shall live in the house of Bear Island. Bear Island. I ran out of things. The the I live in the house, the house of um, the Asamajo. Don't tell me what you named it. It's between you and your farm. Speaking of farm, this house comes with one right here. Okay, it's seen better days. It'll require some elbow grease, but you survived a whirlpool. It shouldn't take too long to tidy up. You got a set of starter tools. Keep an eye on your energy. Okay, I'm just gonna read <laughs> normal for this when it's tutorial stuff. With those beginner tools, get all kinds of things done, and you can upgrade them later at Cinder's Smithy. Clear away rocks, logs, wild grass, and harvesting arugula. Okay. Okay. Thought you were just gonna welcome me in, to realize you're gonna talk constantly. So, arugula. Satisfying. Harvesting plant fibers. I will never not enjoy games where I get to collect things in this fashion. And cut down trees and stuff. So how do we change tool? If our tool is there. Does it do it? Ah, it does it automatically. How useful. That's good. Honestly, switching between tools sometimes can be a bit of a pain. And having them on a bar or a UI, like on your inventory there. So if it just does that automatically, kind of a fan of that. Like if I hit this, yeah, look, it just changes when I go up to it. Like, look, it's like using the axe, using the pickaxe. Cool. I actually really like that. Get some stone. How many days or weeks do you think if you worked on a farm every day it would take to just get buff? To just be ripped? I feel like in six weeks you'd have a bod. Up at 6am working a farm every day. Like they should offer that stuff as like, you're not, you know, not diets, not crash course fad diets or anything. It should be like, come and work on a farm for a month and get ripped. The intensive farm health retreat. Okay, I got the stones. What's Aragula, this stuff? Is Aragula a real thing or something they made up for this game? Arugula. Arugula. Dracula's cousin. I'm Dame Aragula. I don't drink blood, but they have a slight alcohol problem. Return to Merit. Oh, Hello. Uh -huh. Happy to have you. Nice job. You got some space cleared. I'll show you how to use it. Build all kinds of things. Ah, I told you about the almanac, right? Back to construction. Build a piece of cozy furniture. Craft. Crafty, crafty. Yeah. So wait, hang on, that's what edit outfit there. My outfit. Um Right. In here. In the almanac. Tools and crafting. So calendar progression. Quest. Craft and place a woven a, a woven a woven stool inside of your home. Is there maybe a work 
bench? I'm not, you didn't tell me how to craft, did you? Oh, it's right here flashing. See, sorry, uh, set blind. Let's um, build catalog. Round woven stool. Bingo. And I can sit on it. Cute. I know. <laughs> it's like you've been doing it your whole life. I'm impressed. Generally speaking, build decorative things inside or outside. <laughs> we built your mailbox, Miles the Postman will deliver letters. A cooking fire. <laughs> Craft and place a cooking fire. In the area you've put outside. Well, let's have it up here near where we're at. Cook something. a maragula. Looks suspiciously like meat. It's plant-based. Grilled greens. Uh. Let me see. Ah, oh, bravo! Cooked food gives energy and sells for more money. I know what you're thinking. When's she gonna teach me about farming? Right now! Let's get our hands dirty. Go get the seeds. Soon you'll be enjoying some farming. <laughs> uh, give me them seeds. Transfer ore. What's this stuff? Silt. There we go, just hit R to transfer the whole dying stack. Craft and place a basic soil bed. Aha. So I can't do it up here, that's why I couldn't craft. You have to come down into your sort of allotted area. Let me clear this bit a little bit. Tap it in front. It's very important to clear the area. So first we sow the seed. Then we grow the seed. Can I get this tree? No, it's right in the way of where I want stuff. Have to do it over here after all. Boink, boink, boink. Four, five, timber. Rid of the stump. There we go. You ready? Basic soil bed. So this is coming from here, so it'll be like pathed off. So we'll go from here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, and then they double up. Oh. Out of silt and sand. Place turnip seeds. Always do a little bit more. I'm an overachiever, I can't help it. Wonderful job! Just don't forget to water them. Hope you keep tending to your field. As farmers say, don't. Leave them alone. Ha <laughs> ha We have fun. You've done so much to improve. I bet you aren't even thinking about that harrowing journey across the ocean. You should meet your neighbours. Go meet. Let me water these. Get an XP. It's kind of got that satisfying vibe there of little pop-ups of, oh yes, I'm advancing. I've got XP. Nice. Makes me feel good. Let me eat my greens, because I'm a bit... My energy has gone down a bit there. Go meet Eddie. Well... I guess you check the map, and he's at the Stay a While 
bay. So you can track people too, which is nice. In other games, when I've wanted to find a specific person, it's like, where are they? Searching around, searching around. What? Whoa. So yeah. Aqua woven rug. And another thing. A squid vase. Oi! Once caught a tuner that was so big it nearly swallowed my shit with me on it. Fed a whole town for a week. Good to see you. If no one's told you, I'm Eddie, Azoria's old mariner. Catch a fish. Oh. What? I'm a fish. Charging. Ha! Jiggle, jiggle. Go very far. Wait, maybe I'm supposed to hold it. Ah. Ah. There we go. Imagine if I listen to him. He's gonna get it. Any second now. Jiggle, jiggle. Jiggle, jiggle. Ah, so when you're pulling, just give you little nudges. And then reel when you chill. Mmm, salmon. Let's make some sushi. Hello, landlubber. I once caught a tuner. Yeah, we've said that already. You seem to have done well for yourself. Well done, my friend. Enough of that. I've taught you all I can. I've seen you grow from minnow to sardine. Oh, a beekeeper. Go meet the beekeeper, Buzz Buzz. I like bees. Mel the beekeeper. I like that I can jump. Greetings! I love watching the blossoming trees in spring. A new face! When I heard someone washed up on shore, I could hardly believe it. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. You must have a lucky clover in your boot to have made it past the whirlpools. And Mel! I hope everyone's treating you well. It's been so long since we've had someone new on the island. The bees have been all abuzz about it. You moved into the abandoned farm. Wonderful. Since you're new here, let me show you how we catch bees and other critters on Azoria. It's a haven for critters, mostly because they outnumber us. Azorians by wide margin. Let me have a quick drink here, darling. Needed to wet my whistle with some Snapple. It's an awful dry day, and doing a voice is making me want to cough. Don't worry about it, the critters feel. I've developed the most gentle, cosy critter net. I've always got an extra net here. Equip it and swing it. Catch critters. Butterflies. I love butterflies. I saved a butterfly from a spider's web recently. My cat was at my window. And I was like, where is he? Like, he was sort of... Usually comes to see me when I go in there, right? And calling for him and I go to the window and there's um he's like distracted by something so I look through the window and there's a thick spider web on the window and a butterfly is caught in it so I go outside and I free it from the, the web with a stick and as I'm freeing it it wraps itself up more and more tangle 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 and it's got this web all over it and once you get into like trying to get spider web it's like gets wrapped up like that it's pretty strong obviously you know and peacock and so I 
got another stick and slowly like peeled and unwound the web from around this beautiful orange butterfly, sort of a mid-sized one. And as soon as I set it loose, it flew up into the air. And as it did, another one that looked sort of exactly the same appeared and flew with it. And they were flying around together, like so happy above me. And I was like, oh, it must have been watching the whole time. Like that must be its friend or its family, its lover or something. And it's watching and looking at them probably in the spider web, like, oh no, they've caught and unable to do anything. And then I came along and got them. Why was that doing that? And then it was probably... It was probably watching me unravel it and think like, oh no, what's going to happen? And then I set them loose and it was so happy. And then literally the rest of that day, I saw so many butterflies around. And when I went for my walk to feed the ducks, a butterfly landed on my foot even. And the walk for the ducks is like 10, 15 minutes away. And it was only out the corner of my eye that I saw it. And as I looked at it, it flew away, but I could have sworn it was like the same one. And I thought, did that same butterfly like follow me on my walk? And I didn't even notice. And then it landed on my shoe and then flew away. Strange, right? But I always feel like stuff like that is special. And you should save all the living things that you can in the world when you can. And not harm them. It's like an early lesson, honestly. I mean, I already knew it because I grew up with my family are very, like, pro-animal care and been on, like animal rights marches and stuff as a child even because my mum is like fully in on that stuff but I have this like really vivid memory of one time being at a pond and a swan got caught up in the wires on the island you know there's always like an island where the ducks live um, on these like ponds here in the UK and it got like caught and it's like everyone was like watching it's like out there in the middle of this like lake pond thing like it's really like far out and my dad just like had, had waded out into this pond to help the swan. And I can remember as a kid standing at the side at the pond and just being like, wow, like so impressed, like proper, like my dad just saved that swan. What a hero when they came back after setting it free and everyone was like, oh, well done. That was so good of you going out there, you know? And it's just like amazing, like absolute, you know, I was just like, oh my God, that's like, a hero thing it's a, for a, if it's for a kid to see their dad do and like save an animal is huge um oh got some energy and the, to like to put it even on top of that he had just bought new shoes new like trainers sneakers we'd just been out literally in the shop been shopping in town and bought them and had these new shoes on and completely ruined them to like step out there in the pond to like save this swan and it was like that some things are more important. I've always carried that with me. It was like a really important lesson, I think. And another time, he stopped like a attempted bank robbery. <laughs> My dad's kind of that's kind of crazy and does stuff that with the, with the swan. I'm like, yeah, other stuff. It's like you probably should just let that happen. To be honest, like don't get involved and stuff. But yeah. Before you arrived, it'd been a long time since we had a new face in Azoria. How'd that feel? Nice, right? You can keep... Hang on, why have I got that accent? That's not me, this is me. You've got a great technique. I can see you becoming an avid critter catcher. Critters can leave little gifts. Add them from the conservatory for later. There are many critter collectors on the island. If you catch a critter, you can sell it. You can sell just about anything for florins. Selling things is really Pearl's specialty. I guess I'll go see her then. Ba -boom. <coughs> nice. And I can remember us like buying the local paper to read about like stopped a robbery, helped out local man sort of thing. I was like, that's you, you're in the paper. As a kid, this was obviously like back in the 90s, so there wasn't any like, you know, social media or anything about it. Those were the days. No social media. Bloody hell. Lovely. I wonder if that's why I feel so good at water and... Wow, look at the size of that butterfly. Because I... walk a lot and, um... spend time at the river and the ponds around here and... love feeding the ducks. Hmm... Are you too big? 
How can I get you in my net? Swing, release, sneaking. Is it when you're doing that? Ah, gotcha. A moon moth. So, who am I trying to go back? Pearl, the chairwoman. I guess people have gone to bed. Maybe we should go to bed. Should be around tomorrow. Oh. The vines. It looks like it's here. Let's sleep. Sleep is so important. Tomorrow is a new day. It's not time to sleep right now. Oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> How's all ready to get tucked in? Listen to down to sleep. And softly drift off, but not right now, it said. Look at the snails. So how then do I track? Go meet Pearl. Pinned. I can't track it this time. For some reason. Maybe she's one of these? Sky. <laughs> Millie. Charles. Uh. Emily. Uh, it's probably the one with the question mark above her head, don't you think? Yeah. Idiot. <laughs> there you are. Spring times when I go looking for mussels on the beach. They're easy to find. Entrepreneur, you must be more fantastic to meet you. I'm Pearl. I bet you have a bunch of stuff in your pockets you'd like to get rid of. What if I told you you can turn that random junk into cold, hard florins? You can sell that stuff for florins right here and now. Well, in the market, and money isn't deposited automatically. Now's the time for questions. Everything in Azoria sells. Everything. Plant fibers sold. Clay sold. Spring peeper sold. It's so easy. A chiku could do it. Who's buying everything? Don't worry about it. Azoria has a simple, healthy economy. I have a pillow that says one Azorian's inventory is another's resources. Put a few things on the marketplace table to sell them. Place anything on the table. I just come here and sell stuff? How cool. Shelling my critters and some agula. We're acquaintances now, apparently. Chapter one complete. A new day has begun. A thorny problem. Don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. Um, be good, be good, be good. That's a male. You may have noticed some unusual thing, magical things happening around Azoria. It isn't too serious, except it kind of is. Come and talk to me, Alaric the wizard. To all Azorians, the recent magical windstorms that sent debris flying had a most peculiar effect on our shop. In brief, the wind scattered many of our recipe scrolls in all directions. We do not wish for them to be returned. Consider these our contribution to the beautification of Azoria. Follow these recipes, create wonderful things. Interested in dyes? Millie, find me in the market. Multiplayer is open. Invite friends to your online game. Cute. Be on our little fay farm together. <laughs> Sweet. Water our plants for the day. 
or crops, I should say. Turnips, and ah, got some turnips. Can't remember the last time I even had a turnip. When did you last have a turnip? I've had a parsnip. Parsnips are nice, roast and otherwise. But other than turnip soup, what are people doing with turnips? All right. Find Alaric. Mm -hmm. What was that? Hi there. Uh, do you think I look cooler with a hat? Famous wizards all have hats, don't they? Salutation, Morph. My name's Alaric, your humble wizard of Azoria. The mayor let us all pick our titles. She vetoed Mel's first title, which was Azoria's honey bear. Sorry? <laughs> of course. You're wondering why I mailed you. So, um, Azoria has a lot of magic. Uh, wild magic, to be specific. As in uncontrolled, possibly dangerous magic. Uh, I don't mean to worry you. No, wait, I do. It's pretty dangerous. You fear nothing. Well, that's good to hear, but it probably doesn't lend to good decision making. <laughs> I know what I must do. i build you a magical staff. You can use it for protection and to harness some of the wild magic. Oh. That was my tummy. I've been so worked up I forgot to eat. I haven't had a warm meal in days. Could you make me some home-cooked food? <laughs> you want some mussels from the beach? Can I just, like, jump in water? I can. I'm like a murr. <laughs> All these recipes everywhere. <laughs> Cute. Where would... Beach. There we go. Down from here. Muscles. <laughs> What's your thoughts on seafood? I like some. <laughs> but not all. Never had an oyster. I'm not keen on the idea, honestly. I've tried mussels, but like a slurpy oyster. Ugh. But I love sushi. And I like, like, sort of fish, like fish and chips. <laughs> fish and chips, innit? British, innit? Yeah, fish and chips on a cord. You know? It's in here. Clay. And sand. Didn't I need sand for my crops? Is that something else? Crab. Can I catch a crab? Damn it! Deliver broiled shellfish. So I gotta find somewhere to cook this. Oh! <laughs> Clay path. Oh. 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 I'll be right back. Let it cook, let it cook. Butterfly. Wait. I picked it up, did I? Why is it not counting like zero, one of one? I guess because I have to deliver it. It is broiled shellfish, though, so should be the right thing. Let's see if I can land on the. Damn. There you go. I'd be better at making schedules if time wasn't so fiddly. A 
Bring me some home cooked food. Okay, I here you go. I smell food. Oh, I can feel the life returning to me. I can't wait to chow down. I'll spend tonight working in my alchemical lab. Come meet me tomorrow. Defeat the thorns with Alaric tomorrow. A wizard's mop. How very fantasia. Boing. Can I make more crops? I need silt. I wonder where I get silt from. Peridot seal. Period. Can we sleep now? Ah. Alaric and I met where the thorns were the thickest. He presented me with the oddest magical staff I've ever witnessed. But looks can be deceiving, because the thorns began receding. The jumbles should be afraid of my new power. Good-natured Azorians need no longer cower. <laughs> you got a m magical staff. Fae Farm is available now. If you want to check it out for yourself, then use the link below this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this first look at Fae Farm. Do leave me a comment and let me know if you'd like to see me continue with this one. I know we have a few series ongoing at the moment, but do let me know if you want to see more Fae Farm on the channel and have a beautiful rest of your day. Check out one of those videos on the screen to go on another adventure with me right now, and I'll see you next time.